Hi, my name is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric and what I'm going to go through right now is how to go through an electrical diagnosis on an Articat and this is primarily for the 1990s Articats. These are for, uh, like I say, basically 1990 or so right up through 99, uh, 2000 uh, and, and forward. Uh, some of this will work, some of it won't for certain models so you might have to check on those models. but. What we're going to discuss is if you have a no spark or let's say your sled is um, hesitating, missing, and it's like, man, that's got to be spark because, uh, uh, you know, fuel's good and, and uh, the uh, compression is good on my motor, so it must be, spark, must be spark. How do you go about diagnosing that? Well, the first thing you want to do is, of course, check all your wiring um, on, your, uh, on your stator. I'm sorry, on your uh, coils here, you've got uh, your CDI coils come in and, and your CDI wires come in and connect. And then you've got this jumper wire on triples. And you want to make sure the jumper wire is secure. Sometimes these come loose a little bit. Uh, we've got our ground, depending on what kind of snowmobile you have. Uh, usually the ground is on the cover here somewhere on these triples. We've got our ground in the back here. And uh, sometimes that ground, the bolt will come loose. Or the other wonderful thing that happens is on your stator, you've got your uh, ground wire here. And this wire goes into this eyelet and it'll break right in here and sometimes you pull on that wire and that wire is not even connected to your eyelet here for a ground for your uh, stator or for even your CDI because your stator and your ground CDI you usually go to the same spot and you're grounding those so one of the first things you can do is when you don't have spark you want to isolate is it the ignition or is it possibly uh, possibly in the handlebars here uh, bad switches and so forth so the first thing you want to do is look for the plug. There's a the plug that comes out of your stator, and this just happens to be a ZR stator, uh, but the same thing goes for all triples. There's a four-prong plug here that comes out, and it has two yellow wires to it. And what you want to do is find that plug down here, unplug that. Now, what we're going to I'm going to differentiate differentiate between a closed loop system and an open loop system. Closed loop is pretty much uh, early 90s all the way through 97. And that system, you have to have your, your, your circuit closed. You have to have it completed for your ignition to work. So on a closed loop system, you would unplug the plug, the four prong plug, and you would have to put a jumper wire in. And your jumper wire would go to your two non-yellow wires. So basically you could take a jumper wire, 16 gauge wire, stranded, what have you, put it in this hole, run it over here, put it uh, on this post, and, and then what you would do is just go ahead and pull your sled over and see if you have spark. Uh, if you do have spark, then there's something wrong in either your connections, maybe there's moisture in them and you need to clean them out, use dielectric grease, or uh, something in the handlebars, uh, you've got a short, a ground. Uh, usually the biggest culprit is the throttle safety switch, the TSS switch. And, and what you want to do is find the, the uh, uh, three-prong connector that's in your handlebars. And on a closed loop system, again, not an open loop, you're going to unplug this and you can jump this. You can get a jumper wire, uh, jump the uh, female connector from the uh, sled here, and usually it's the outside pin here. And you can jump those and uh, then you're, it completes your TSS system uh, and then uh, you'll have spark and it bypasses the bad switch, the bad TSS switch that's up here in your handlebars. Uh, you can use this plug, just plug that in, snip the two outside wires, splice them together, that kind of deal. Uh, some guys, uh, if you uh, plug this in, uh, they put like shrinky tube over the center post here. Your your uh, kill switch will still work, but it bypasses your TSS switch. So there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, if you're in doubt, you can't remember what have you. Just it's got to be a female to one of the males here to get spark. So just check this, pull it over with your plugs out of your cylinder, cylinder, see if there's spark. If if it isn't, try the other one, see if there's spark. 
like I say, that bypasses your kill switch and your throttle safety switch, which on uh, the old cats, they just go bad left and right on these things. If, still talking about a closed loop system, if you're, in fact, this is actually a closed and open loop system, if you don't have spark on a closed loop, let's say you use the jumper and you don't have spark, and uh, the uh, open loop system is very easy. The open loop system, all you do is unplug that four prong connector with the two yellow wires. Just unplug that and that's it. You're fine. All it does is bypass your switches. You'll still get spark. You do not need a jumper with a with an open system. That's pretty much the cats from like '98 uh, forward through at least 2002 and and some of them beyond. So if you do not have spark after you try a jumper on a closed loop or you have an open loop, you unplug it and you do not have spark, that isolates your problem to your ignition. So now you've either got your state a stator problem, you've got a uh, trigger or a pulser coil's gone dead, you've got coils that have gone dead, uh, possibly a CDI box that has gone dead, uh, and, and of course check all wires everywhere. Like I say, I can't stress enough the grounds and so forth. Uh, some guys find a wire it was wearing on the cylinder and it had worn through and had uh, you know shorted out and grounded and so forth. But your problem, if you don't have spark after you do these tests, is in your ignition somewhere. Uh, coils, uh, swap out with a good set if you can uh, to check those. Um, stator, uh, follow my stator uh, checking procedures uh, in my other videos that I have. Pulsar coil, check my uh, pulsar coil test video, very easy, just check it for the resistance. Pulsar, but the fun thing about it is pulsar coil, stators, they can all ohm out okay. And even plug caps, you know, plug caps come loose inside here and so forth. Sometimes you trim them, screw back on. Even if you check these sometimes, they'll, everything will ohm out good, but it'll actually be bad. So it's all, you almost got to cover all of your bases and uh, check one thing at a time. About the only other thing is uh, once in a while guys will say, hey, you know, my sled's backfiring a little bit or something. Usually, I mean, obviously it's a spark issue. Um, check for a sheared timing key on something like that. If you have reeds, uh, a lot of times reeds go bad and they'll cause that kind of issue. Uh, crank out of phase, that'll cause that kind of issue sometimes. But, uh, you know, with all these sleds, we got to watch where all of our wires are routed and so forth. That, you know, they're not close to the brake rotor. Make sure they're not rubbing on the recoil every time you're uh, starting it up and so forth. But, like I say, very simply, the uh, open systems, you can just unplug that four-way. Check it for spark. If you've got spark, uh, then it's it's something in your switches. Closed loop, you unplug it, the four-way, and like I say, jump the two non-yellow wires. Jump those two, and that completes your your uh, your circuit there. And if you still don't have spark, then it's in your ignition. And follow my other videos to see how to check uh, most of that. Guys, ask how to check a CDI box. Man, it, there's. There's almost no way to check that. There is voltage output from it, but I don't have anything to check that, and, and a regular multimeter will not work. Um, and like I say, with, with coils, uh, caps, and, and stators, and, and so forth, and triggers, they can ohm out okay, but still be bad and still not work correctly. That's how you check your uh, ignition system for spark. You just diagnose it. You go ahead and and uh, you know unplug that connector, and that separates. Is it ignition or is it switches? Uh, and that and you go from there. Whatever's bad, you go from there, and then attack that area next. So, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, if you have questions on anything, go ahead and and send me a, a, a an email or go ahead and post to the bottom of the. Uh, to my YouTube video here and we'll try to get you pointed in the right direction but this is primarily for Articats but it, it does apply to a lot of two strokes in general uh, with their ignition systems too so alright well you guys have because uh, this could really save your rear you could be out on the trail somewhere with a with a closed uh, loop system which would be the older Articats and all of a sudden you lose spark because your throttle safety switch went out and you're like oh crap you're in the middle of nowhere and if you can jump that uh, jump that plug down there and get spark that can get you home at night. You're not going to have your lights because it, that's where your power comes from, that four-pronged plug. You're not going to have your lights or your tack or anything like that, but your sled will run. You, you'll be able to get your sled back. And, and uh, like I say, it could really save your rear some night when you're out in the middle of nowhere and it's cold and we've all been there. All right, you guys have a good, uh, good day and uh, 
Happy trails.